When you first start up SketchUp, you'll get a screen that looks similar to this. This video will show you how you can add more toolbars to increase your functionality. So to do that, go up to View, Toolbars, and this little dialog box will show up. The first thing to do will be to disable Getting Started. The tools in that group will be found in the ones we will enable. You may notice I have additional tool sets. These are ones I added and are not part of the standard SketchUp program. The first one found in the standard set that I want you to enable is Dynamic Components, then the large tool set. Again, you might have to use a scroll bar to get to the other ones here. We'll do Location, Measurements, Sandbox, Section, Shadows, Solid Tools, Standard Styles, again use the scroll bar to keep going down, Tags, Views, and Warehouse. So it will be Dynamic Components, Large Tool Set, Location, Measurements, Sandbox, Section, Shadows, Solid Tools, Standard, Styles, Tags, Views, Warehouse. With those toolbars enabled, we'll have quite a bit more functionality. If you notice, the toolbars have these little dot, dot, dots at the beginning of the toolbars. They may have actually opened up something like this, perhaps. Um, you know, there's all different ways that these things are going to show up. Uh, and so we want to make sure we, we kind of put them as close as possible so that we don't have all these empty spaces in our, our tool sets. This way we can have the largest area for our model making. We can reposition them by clicking on those dot, dot, dots and clicking and dragging them up and over to the side and arrange them something like this so that you have them only on two rows up here at the top and then here maybe move this up a little bit if necessary so that you just only have you know this set over here and you can click close and then that that is pretty much set I, I guess you could still even when you close that you can still get in here and move these things around if necessary if you need to but this is pretty much the standard setup now additionally over here we have the default tray if you go to window default tray we can show or hide the tray so if I click on this button here the tray is hidden or window default tray show tray the tray is there and the tray comes with a lot of default settings and it'll be something like this I would also include scenes window default tray include shadows window default tray possibly outline would be good to have Notice when I added those extra ones that came in open, so now I have a scroll bar on this side here I have to play around with. So a lot of times I just like to minimize the different palettes so that they are tight. And then when I need them, I just expand them. The order they show up is the order that they were turned on in the pull-down menu. Instructor is good too at the beginning because you can see whatever tool you're using and what you can do with that tool. And you can see this selection tool, if I click on rectangle it'll tell me about the rectangle tool if I click on zoom I can well that zooms up if I click on tape measure you see the tape measure tool what it can do so at the beginning instructor is good probably after a while you won't need it and you can take off stuff you're not needing by hitting this X here and that just takes it out of the default tray so it's not so cluttered with things if you find you need it again you can just go to window default tray and turn it back on and it'll show up in the order you selected it before proceeding to the next step, make sure any open SketchUp files are closed. Once you have the toolbars all set up, make sure to exit SketchUp and then open it back up again. And that way all the settings will be retained. So hopefully this video explained a little bit how to set up your toolbars, then be ready to work fully with SketchUp. Another good thing would be to make sure you learn about those keyboard shortcuts. Thank you for your time.